Okay, here we go. Let's try a box of 2015 Bowman Chrome um, Baseball. This is Hobby 20. Actually, 18 pack. Four cards per pack. We're off starting off the refractor of Cody Reed. These are four ninety nine. And then prospects, events. This is a fun product. Um the, the price will come down I think around sixty now, which is still too high for it. But it's not terrible. Um you get two autos. It's a pretty wide pool, but there's actually a lot of good prospects in this. Alan Hansen. Let's see updates. Uh, this guy's got a prospect auto. Amari's minor. Or a mini F. I don't know how to pronounce it, but just a lot of promising young prospects. It seems like all the prospects have some type of promise, and most of them don't you know, live up to expectations or make it as far as you think, but still find the track because every once in a while there's a guy that just breaks out and that's I think that's what makes it, it fun in the first place. Tony Kemp is a decent prospect. There's a road on rookie. I'm gonna put together some team sets of this stuff. I found out through trial and error that the best way to, to move base or of products is team sets. Because that's what um, casual collectors like you into. It's cool to have a team set of your of your, your favorite team, you know? It's hard to sell like 20 or 30 of the same card, base card. I mean, who wants 30 um, Matt Kemp base cards? Not many people. <laughs> people would rather have a couple team sets than a Colin Moran top 100. Feels good to do a break again. Drew, he had a home run the other night. He's up. He's from the Braves in one of those trades. Um... I'm not sure which one. It might have been the Justin Upton one a few years ago. Nick Gordon. There's Jordy. He's got an auto in this. Spencer Turnbull. I don't know a lot about him. He might be a relief pitcher. Which, most of the time, you don't want your hit to be a relief pitcher. Just because it doesn't seem like there's much hobby with those guys. Here's a die cut series next. I think you get a couple of these for a hobby box. Um... And base, so nothing crazy yet. Just there's Jesse Winker, he should be up next season. Keep him playing with the Pensacola Wahoos. Just base. There should be some color in there. Eventually. There is Jose Barrios. He should be up next year as well. Carson Smith. There's a blue. A Chi Chi Gonzalez and a, a Michael Franco rookie. Chi Chi is 150 for the Rangers. I think he's still up. That's a, that's a decent one. Um, it is a the base version. James McCann, the rookie catcher for the Tigers. I think that's a that's an okay one. It's not bad. Could have one more and at least one more number this after. There's our second one. Yoan Lopez. I have to look him up. I know I looked him up before. First thing I do when I when I do these prospect cards is open them. Is, uh, it's like the birthday. 93 is from Cuba. Not, not bad. Looks like he was just signed in 2015. So that could be a decent one. And then Tomas. But a lot of times when you're breaking Bowman, you don't really know how good the card is right when you pull it. You gotta kind of anticipate. Some of the kids in this are like 17. It's nuts. There's a Gallo.
This guy's got an auto in here. If you look at his numbers, he's put together a good season. I think in high A too. Landino, first round pick last year. I'm up in five or six boxes, and I've never pulled just a Correa base rookie. There's a Bryant series next. J.D. Davis, he's got an auto in this. He was the, the uh, Golden Spikes winner in 2014. Bobby Bradley. He hit 30 bombs in the minors this year. I think it was just A-ball, but still he's only like 19. There's A.J. Cole. And we're still without the Korea. It's a tough card to hit. <laughs> it's the base card. That's it for this one, guys. Later.